Hi, this is part two of tutorial one. We will talk about how to define functions and try to complete um, the number guessing game up to the point where we haven't ran out any number. Okay, so there are many ways to define function in JavaScript. Well, we will use the simplest one. So we use keyword function and then uh, type in the function name, say random solution, and then this. Uh, and since we don't know how to random number, so we just uh, return, uh, say, 55. So if, if this function is called, the number, an integer value of uh, 55 will be returned. And what are the other functions that we have to uh, define? So this is great guess. So let's write it here, function guess. Again, we don't know how to read guess from the user yet uh, so let's write it uh, as this 55 and then what else function congratulate okay, function give hint give hint is a little bit special because it takes one argument so let's write it there okay if I write the code on my own I'll have these blank lines so that it read easier but since I don't have too much space here I, I'll leave it I'll, I'll throw it away all right <coughs> so now we have all the functions with some value so let's try to run it and see if there's some error in it. so I run it and nothing appear so let's look at the web console and it show nothing so it looks good However, we don't we don't see anything, okay. <coughs> now, since uh, I hard code this uh, the guess to be equal to random solution, if we follow the execution execution of this program, we will see that it will runs through this line, and then uh, it go to call congratulate, and then it will stop. So let's uh, let do something here. So I, I would like to print out something like say, that's great, uh, that's correct, or something like that. Um, uh, the, the, the JavaScript langua language does not have uh, pre-specified the, uh, the output statement. However, if you use uh, JavaScript inside the browser, uh, you have this function alert. Okay, so let's use it. Let's try it, let's try it first. So if I call alert and then say hello, World and run it. You see that this happens here. Hello world. Okay. Um, so basically, I can just put it here. Alert. That's great. That's uh, that's that's great. So let's do that. Now, if you look carefully, this is red, and then it's uh, black here because because. JavaScript th would think that this is an opening uh, of the string and then this is the end and then this is like syntax error so we might want to switch this to uh, double quote like that or we can if we want to use single quote then we need to add backslash here so that it's um, JavaScript know that this is uh, the single quote inside a string okay so let's make it simple so let's use double quote here so that looks nice. Okay, now um, since you can use either a single quote or double quote, then you should try to stick with one unless it is, it is necessary like this. Okay, so let's run the program. We say that's great. Okay. All right. So now <coughs> we can do the same with give hint, give hint uh, alert, and let's pass on message here. Okay. So that's the code. So let's run. And you already see that's great because uh, the program will not, will not execute to this line. If you want to try that, you can change this to 55 and run. <coughs> then you run into an infinite loop of, of dialog box. That, that's hard to deal with. So we skip that for now. All right. So the next step would, would be to read the guessing value from the user. OK? There's another function in the browser that you can use, which is called prompt. Okay, this function would show 
a dialogue and 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 do something uh, so let's do a little experiment with it if you have a, a web console you can just type in command here say like prompt okay and then you type oh so there's a dialog box up there which you probably not see oh, let me okay 10 if I answer 10 you will re return a string 10 okay prompt and then I can also put a string here give me my number and it will show that as a prompt here let's say, okay, say a thousand it, it will return a string okay so let's close this and read guess I can just say uh, or G equal prompt let's forget about the string for now or the you know, for the message for now and then call return G okay and uh, prompt return a string but however this this is an integer random solution would uh, returns an integer 55 okay so we expect a string 55 to be something like incorrect but let's let's look at the the running result let's say uh, uh, 40 say too low 60 say too high and then 55 say too high right oh 55 do that again too high ah okay so that's uh we cannot stop it now uh, because uh, I, I would click this and then if you look at the code oh uh, sorry the code should be <coughs> This is my second uh, recording, so I fixed this already. But if you stop the script from running, uh, let's say that uh, hundred. Uh, if you stop, if you have, if you run into uh, an infinite loop of dialogue and you close it once, then it would would uh, cause some error. So let me uh, restart this JS Fido session quickly. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. All right. So let's put my code back here and close this window for now. Okay, leave page. Okay, so let's run it again. Okay, I have a prompt here which return a string. Okay, and then um, I use normal comparison here. Okay, so let's run 10 too low 55. That's great. So, um, what's going on? Uh, if you return a string and you use the, the uh, double equals here, JavaScript would uh, try to do some type conversion. So it would return, it would say that uh, you get the correct answer even though you are comparing a string with an integer. And this is sometimes nice because you can, it's hard to make a mistake with type. However, uh, it might confuse us later on, so let's do the right thing. So when you do comparison, if you don't want JavaScript to intervene to uh, do the type conversion for you, use this tree equal like that. Okay, now uh, you want if you enter 55, it won't give you correct solution unless you make it an int. So in JavaScript, there's a function called pass int that would return an int from a string. So let's this is I need to fix it like that. Let's run, otherwise, I would run into another infinite loop again. So 60 too high 40 too low and 55 that's great so that's 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 the code okay so in the next uh, 
in in the next clip I'll, I'll talk about how to do random number how to random numbers okay um, so that's it for now um, see you in the next clip